is me, Jeez Frosty. Welcome back to another YouTube video. And today's game is actually the last epoch, and my opinion on this game is very simple. This game is completely trash. Like, it's literally just taking Diablo and Path of Exiles and just put all the bad parts of both games together. Like, literally, you got this character right here, which is literally just a straight up copy of the Path of Exiles character. If you take them both side to side, they look absolutely the same and they have the same exact things. Like, look at this. You look at these little zombies. Don't tell me they aren't the same exact things from Path of Exile. You gotta tell me it ain't so. These things are the same exact ones. Come on, man. You guys can be any more shitless. This game is absolutely. Alright, let's stop right there. How many of you actually believe that I meant every single word? Do you guys actually believe every single word? I am completely kidding my actual opinion is uh i've actually played this game for quite a while now and i gotta say that the game's actually pretty amazing it surprised me many ways i've actually been enjoying this character class specifically i've actually really really been enjoying this game a lot and i'm just gonna state up straight away that i've actually never played diablo or any of diablo games <laughs> they look interesting but i never got into them and as for Path of Exiles, I actually did play that game a lot, but I only ever got to two classes, specifically the witch one and the guy with the two axes. Forgot the name of that class, but I mean, I forgot both of the names really. But yeah, those are the two classes I placed. Mostly the witch one, because I've always been a summoner type person. If you ever catch a playing Terraria, you already know what class I'm going. I'm going straight up summoner. Been straight up enjoying this game. Because yeah, you'll find similarities, I did point out in my little joke before. But yeah, I know when you look at this character in the customization screen, this looks exactly or pretty damn similar at least inspired by from path of exiles most of the characters really are look to be inspired from the path of exile characters at least and even the way that some of them actually work but of course this game still took a different approach on how they did it and i gotta say i've been straight up enjoying it this game when it comes to summoners at least this is like a goddamn summoner's dream all right like you got yourself the basic skeletons that when you start off the game you get these guys you don't get as many as i do right now but yeah you get these things really cool right so you get these nice skeletons forget that guy misclick and it's actually pretty damn cool. And then later you actually get these guys that are summoned on accident, which is just pretty much the zombies from uh, the Path of Exiles, except instead of attacking, they just go and blow up, hence the name Volatile Zombies. Then you got yourself these cool guys, but you don't get that later. I actually skipped, uh, skipped one, my bad. You get these mages, pretty much just archers, but instead they cast spells, no duh. And then of course you get this guy, which I skipped. But he's currently with my favorite one. But they got that bone golem. This guy is absolutely sick and masses. And then finally you get these cool guys. It's just the wraiths. And then yeah, look at that. You pretty much just got a goddamn little army. And then of course if you decide to put all your effort into making so the vault of zombies don't blow up. This is ridiculous. And this is not even taking the fact that these guys are all not maxed. Like I said, this game took a similar but completely different approach. Like for example, I'm actually really putting it on the screen. But these guys have a pretty interesting class system. So you got the middle part of the circle, which is pretty much just the base classes and what you start off with. I chose Acolyte and then the rest is what it branches off into. What it branches off into is not a class that you choose. Yes, you choose them, but it doesn't work the way I thought it would, which is you choose one, you stay in that path. So now I'm going to get to show you this. So this is the wrong one. So this is the skill tree. This is the Acolyte skill tree specifically. I will be I'll be moving my camera for the sake of this. But if you take a look at this nice Acolyte tree, it's uh, over there. So if you take a look at this nice little Acolyte tree over here on my side, you're going to see a few things, right? So first, we got the basic Acolyte tree. And how they did it is that you unlock your mastery spells for each, for each area, at least after you're investing a certain amount of points, which is actually pretty cool. I really like that because that means you'll be unlocking stuff as you level up as and as you invest stats these are the other subclasses that i showed where you end up evolving into so how they made it work you choose a class right but what you choose is what you decide to be a master in i guess but you can actually still invest into the rest i haven't done it yet but i will invest in their stats later so i decided to get the mastery skill for for necromancer which gives me summon wraith and i've been completely enjoying that because i like i said i want to be a complete summoner build for this run which is pretty damn nice and then of course you can actually like multi-class in a way you can actually get a whole bunch of different skill types give different passes makes it interesting and then you got this cool thing which is the skills that you have in the game there isn't a ridiculous amount of skills for say i am investing into the top path because they have many cool summoning skills i move a bit downwards so you guys can see but they got the summon skeletal mage sacrifice judge shade a uh, assemble abomination which i really want to test that thing this thing just sounds ridiculously fun and then you got the summon wraith that isn't what i want to talk about so how they actually did this thing how they made this system was 
interesting. So every single skill has its own class tree that you invest in. Honestly, pretty cool. It allows me to play around with each skill. And unfortunately, Def, from what I heard, there's no way for you to unlock every single thing. And even if you did, it wouldn't make sense. Because I guess in this case, for example, skeleton. If I went with this and this, it would pretty much just remove skeleton, archers, and warriors. So having both definitely seems impossible. Or maybe it actually is. Maybe it actually is possible. If you remove both, it completely just allows you to play with rogues. I wonder how that how would that end up playing i'm just not deciding that but moving on then there's this thing on top which pretty much i actually choose a skill tree because right now i cannot invest the skill trees that i haven't chosen because how they made it is you have to choose a specialization on what skills you actually want to upgrade and right now you can only have five which makes sense because you can only have five down here which i'm gonna say i really do like that they allow you to change your m1 because i was able to change my m1 to goddamn summon that i've been completely playing at lazy just having these guys do all my work which is absolutely hilarious so yeah choosing a specializing skill upgrading them really damn cool really like it i don't really have any build i've just been reading and choosing what i like but okay now that i've uh, shown you how every single thing works and how this game is actually a little bit different. And now I'm going to get into the gameplay. Why I've actually been enjoying this. You just have me just straight up walking around enjoying myself. Am I on the other side? I know I use that as a cheat to get to the other side. But all right, all right. let me test this. Let me test this. Because I believe I can actually like ease to the other side if I do this right. I'm running low on mana. I don't, I don't even understand what the heck is going on. I thought he killed all these people before. But now they're back for some reason. I sorry, I thought, okay, well, neat. I guess I'm going to walk around. I'm looking forward to how big i can make that golem i actually cannot have maxed out the size and it's honestly pretty hilarious how much bigger this guy has gone i also really like how they actually made some of these guys actually patrol around and move it makes it more interesting that they're not all in one spot i mean most of them are constantly of course like they're not always gonna be be patrolling or moving around but it definitely makes it pretty interesting are there two types of souls in a cage okay well cool i can definitely imagine that other builds will most likely be a lot stronger Especially since I'm just completely playing this. Just having like my own damn army. Which is always something I really like about games like these. Just having a goddamn army behind you is just so hilarious to see. It really does definitely fit the quote of being a necromancer. Oh wait, I also got a passive skill. Which I'm going to be throwing into necromancer. I'm trying to increase the amount of shred armor these guys have. And I'm going to be taking the unbound necromancer. Whoa, war goons. Got goddamn bone golems as well. Which is why I actually do like exploring and doing all this stuff. And also why I've been picking up every single side quest I can. Just the sole fact that it gives me some neat things is always really cool. Oh, speaking of loot. Legendary? Another one? Oh, hey, unique. Well, unarmed? Okay, that's not even for my character. Yeah, unique crusader. What? I thought I get something that's not even for my class. Come on, man. That's annoying. It's not even the first, I think, like, unique level item that I've gotten that's not even for my class, which annoys me. I'll give it a read and see what the heck it is. Is it right down here? Yep, down here. Oh, there's the boss. I knew it was going to happen. What did I say? I lost one of them. Oh, there we go. Got the rogue back. Oh, boy. He is not surviving. I feel like that armor shred is doing so much. Wait. This hell is falling down so fast. Also, there is no suspense for music. What do you drop? What do you drop? Boots. Bliss of chaos. Two hand it. I mean, I'll take this. I can sell this for gold. I got some space still. Transfer. Return. And so now I got myself a unique set of boots. Break a theme. Wait. So you and your minions have increased movement speed. Increased healing effect. This is every second if you're moving, you have a 20%, 24% chance to cast summon vines. I think I might take this. I mean, my health increased a lot, but how much faster am I? Not, not bad. The increase is not like a gigantic amount, but it is pretty damn good. Okay, neat. We're jumping. All right, nice. <laughs> okay, cool, I guess. Okay, damn, that 24% is kind of funny. What do these vines do? Oh shoot, they're stationary turrets. My summoning build has increased. So now whenever I walk, I just get passive stationary turrets. What the hell? That, that's a sandworm. Okay. Hydra, they call you Hydras? Man, what has Hydras devolved into? I'm gonna kill everything here and then we go back down. Because I actually don't want to get that portal. The chances of getting a unique item from it are a little too high. Though, oh shoot, I'm actually gonna die. That, that, wait, wait, hold up, that poison. Okay, <laughs> 
Okay, that poison's a little bit dangerous. Well, it happened very soon, but I ended up getting myself skeleton vanguards. I ended up running into some enemies that blew up and my wraith ended up dying. I believe I have all of them anyways. Oh, my mage just died? So many of my minions died there, so now I got skeleton vanguards. I don't know how long they last, but... Okay, so I guess I was wrong and it brings you to the town portal, like the town that you were last at, not the town that you were currently at, but... So, yeah, we got this thing. So, we got more experimental braces. I swear, does it just give it, like, two of everything? At the, sh the game's really long. This thing feels, like, more better for streaming, at least, right, based on how long this thing is. This game, by the way, is multiplayer. You guys haven't seen it because I'm, I'm playing in this on offline mode. Which, honestly, is one of the things that suck. I'm going to warn you guys right now, but you can actually play this game completely offline without having to worry about without having to play with other people. You can play with other people if you actually, like, want to play multiplayer, of course, and stuff like that. But let's just say in my case, since I've been, I'm going to be making a video, I decided to play this offline. And I mean, in general, I just know what you played this with. I ended up playing this on offline, right? There's something that sucks, which I ended up finding about later, but I've already kind of put too much effort on to the game, is that um, you can't bring your offline character to the online mode, which is honestly stupid that i can't uh, end up bringing this. So if I end up making like the best build in the single player, I cannot bring it to the multiplayer. Like I said, very unfortunate, but hey, it is what it is. So if you guys end up wanting to play this game and you end up wanting to play by yourself and decide to only play it in the single player mode, which is the offline mode, just know that you're running the risk that if you want to play in the online mode, you're going to have to play like a whole separate character, which is what I'm going to have to do when I go do that. Look at that, my army's already a little bit bigger again just because of the vanguard. It's pretty nice. All right. Why well, let these guys do their work? I highly doubt I'm going to be dying because of with this army right now we got skeleton mages so yeah now i only summon death knights they do look good that's a question of whether or not they're better okay so they actually shoot out those little souls that i have which i believe is yeah okay so they actually do shoot out hungering souls now but yeah uh, extend the outro a little too much so before i do end off the video something i actually want to say real quick is if you guys have any builds that you want to share just put them down to the comments down below i'd actually like to read what you, type of builds and combos you guys ended up making or what type of things you have or i might actually take some probably probably not i'll, I'll see depending on how cool they sound but if you guys actually have any build ideas for the necromancer that i'm currently having or any builds i guess in general that you end up having for necromancer do put down in the comments below i'd actually like to hear what type of builds and that i can make with this type of crazy thing because i've been enjoying necromancer a lot just look at this having like goddamn armor death knights actually look pretty clean so if you guys have any builds idea leave them down in the comments below on top of what builds your favorite and what type of class you chose and everything else like that you know all what type of goddamn skill tree you decide to do combos and i don't know the stupidity that ends up happening like goddamn dealing a million damage per second like i can't wait until someone actually reached that amount of damage that would be hilarious so either way now after saying all that that will be the end of the video so either way guys hope you enjoyed watching today's video leave a like comment and subscribe especially subscribe and i'll see you on the next one Bye bye